I remember the first time I I remember the first time I laid eyes on you, girl. Had no idea you'd become so important in my world. Like water to a sweet red rose. You were my number one girl, you know. I've been floating with you like a summer breeze. Now I want to be free. You found your way in my heart. Found your way in my, my heart. I thought we'd never part. Thought we'd never part. I've had enough of this. Girl, I've had enough of this. Girl, you're blowing my mind. I'm about to split. Yeah. Baby. Oh. Said I love you, but I gotta go. You. You were my life. When I couldn't see. There is no need for you and me to remain in misery. I want to be free, yeah. Gotta go. Said I love you, but I gotta go. I got to move, move. Move on. Trying to add this guy. Trying to add this guy. Who else? Who else want to come? We're just adding people. Let's just talk. Talk to. Them. We're gonna. Who is this? Talk to me. Come on on here, talk to me. That's what it's all about. We're in a music group, we musicians. We should uh, talk to each other. So I'm adding you on here. What's up, Will Price? That's who that is. What up? What's good, family? What's up, bro? What's good? Nothing too much, family. Just just kicking it, man. Sitting back, trying to, trying to see what's up today. It's Sunday evening. You know, what's going on in the group? You know, I see a couple people moving around. What's, what's up with you today, man? Shit, bro. You know, same shit, different day. Any new music? Well, I don't know if you've seen any of the other any of the videos, the recent videos I just dropped. I saw, yeah. I, I think I shared them on your page, yeah. Got them Jones out the way. I got some other shit on the way. I got I, I got a bunch, I got a couple of songs I'm making right now. So Okay. Okay. Wait, what what you, uh, give us a little well, we don't got to talk about music all the time. What's going on with Will Price? What's going on in your life? No, no, no. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm chilling, bro. I'm trying to maintain that shit. I'm trying to live. Ain't it rough? <laughs> <laughs> you know what ain't, I mean? Ain't, ain't it tough? Man. Yeah. But shit. Well, uh, so so where you where you located at, man? You you the one. You, uh, don't get me wrong. I'm I'm. I know your music because I I know you. You've been you yeah. are uh, don't don't tell me up close magic. Up next magic. Up next magic. Yes, yes, yeah. I'm a fan of your style. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, next, like, next up magic. Next up magic. Yeah, yeah. So that was that song. Run too real, but I'm faking it. Run too yeah. real, but I'm faking it. Uh, nah, that, was, that was my boy. My boy sang on that. I rapped on that. I was doing the hook and everything. Mm. Oh, that was you on the hook. Yeah, you wrote that. Yeah, yeah, I wrote that. Yeah, that's dope. That's that. That's that's what drew. That's what drew me into the song as well. That I, I know <laughs> they'd rather see is locked in a cage. Yeah, yeah, I know. Just some modern day slaves. Yeah, I know. We just stuck yeah, in a cage. Would, hey, I'm listening. Yeah, we take we take turns writing our shit, like writing the hooks, and like sometimes, or sometimes we just do it together. Well, most of the time we do it together, but. So it is a group. So it is a, a group. Yeah, there's a yeah, there's a couple over. Okay, that's real cool. Yeah, we, yeah, we've been we've been 
We've been trying to we've been trying to stay on the roll. We've been trying to we've been trying to you know what I mean just drop a video for new music. You know what I mean, so that's all that's all we've been up to. Mm. So have y'all been doing any um any ro- any shows, any um thing like that recently? No, nah, well we had we had a couple shows a few months ago, but that was the yeah, that was the last time we we haven't had any since. That's good. Uh, things, things kind of slowed down, but it's all right though. We'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. Right back where we was before. Man, Doing man. shows, everything. Like, cause we we. we <clears throat> I remember back in November we had a show out in um out in New York on the yacht. That was that was that was one of the craziest shows that we did. But we had a couple of shows uh, a few months ago. <laughs> Locally. Wait, you got down yeah. in Florida somewhere? Just say it again? You in Florida somewhere or? No, nah, we in PA. Ready. Oh, Pennsylvania. Okay, okay. You connected with uh, uh, Rob and all them guys too? Uh, I'm connected with uh, Villain and stuff. Villain, you know, okay. EJ. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's my, that's my, that's my OG right there. That's my yeah, Villain, Villain, Villain got his hands on it, just about everything in that area, don't he? <laughs> yeah. Fact. Definitely fact. Let me let me try to get. Uh, I think brother Leon in here. Let me try to get brother Leon. In. I ain't talked to him in a minute, and, and and if you still in, let's get back on some more conversation, man. Let's just talk. I ain't doing nothing, you know. Whatever. Let me get Leon in here and and go from there. Appreciate you, Will. Yeah, you already, bro. I appreciate you, bro. You've been showing nothing but love since I met you, bro. You know what I mean? You got dope music, bro. Like real talk, like uh. I follow musicians, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you check my, my social medias, you know, I follow musicians and things that interest me. I don't just follow, you know, everybody got, they following more people than actually following them. Not that that's a formula to success or anything, but I just feel like I'm not going to just follow, you know, I, you're my friend, you we cool, you know what I'm saying? That's what we got Facebook for and, you know, stuff like that. But other social right. medias, I follow who I, you know, who I dig, you know what I'm saying? And I, I really dig that, yeah, I know, you know what I'm saying? And like some of your other stuff you sent to me, you got, y'all got a real unique style. I really like it. So I, I'm, I'm wishing nothing but, you know, blessings going forward, brother, for real. Good looking, bro. I appreciate that. I appreciate that, bro. Real shit. All right, man. Let me get Leon in here. I appreciate it, man. Leon. Man, you in, brother. Don't want to add Leon. Look like who is it? Austin in here too? Who else is that? Look like Tony. Is that Tony? You don't want to add you, Leon. Let's get Tony in. Thirteenth, the thirteenth of the Braille Hunters, everybody. Um, legendary in the Alabama music scene. Uh, one of the first uh, uh, gold. Records, you know, uh, that I know of around here in these areas, you know, we have we've had others since then, and maybe, maybe before then we had, you know, Dirty Boys and Deuce Comrades and stuff like that. But him and a and a group of other guys, Kenny Thomas, Stro, you know, they took a song, you know, stretched that motherfucker out, you know what I'm saying, and really got it popping. And uh, you know, one of the first formulas to success, you know, here in our area, we're having trouble getting them on. That's okay though. We'll come back to them a little bit later. Um, let's get Leon, let's try to get Leon back in here again. I don't even have the comments on. Let me turn the comments on. Maybe that'll help. What's up, Jordan? Hey, yeah, I missed you too, fam. Yeah, I've been good, man. I've been good, fam. I've been good, fam. I missed y'all too, man. I just been, I've been taking a, a well, a well needed, uh, you know, hiatus. All right, we got Henry Sauce guy in here. So we got people in the building. Let's get them in. Trying to add Leon in here now. Yeah, I missed y'all too, bro. You know, just been a lot going on lately uh, in life. You know, we we go through some things sometimes. Uh, he don't want to come in. Tony, come on in here. In life, I, I, you know, everybody know that, you know what I'm saying? We all go through shit, you know what I'm saying? And and I'm no exception. You're no upset, exception. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go through things in life. We're stuck in this maze. We're stuck in this in this trap, you know, uh, that we call society, Western society. 
and and we try to go by it. You know what I'm saying? We try to we try to live by its uh, by its tenets and its philosophies, but at the same time, we have a, a natural, you know, instinct to to be ourselves as well. You know what I mean? And and we have to balance those two forces. And when one gets out of balance, we have to reevaluate ourselves. You know what I'm saying? And that's the period I'm in right now, reevaluating my whole life. Tony, 13 Wilder, man, legendary uh, Alabama artist in her right now. Uh, what's going on, bro? What's good with you? Man, what it do, man? Shit, sitting up and chilling, man. What's happening? Fam, just living life. You know me, fam. <laughs> it's been a minute, man. It's good to it's good yeah. to chop up with you. Oh, that what it do, man. Yeah, I've been seeing your work, man. Seeing you, 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 you trying to progress, keeping the progress going. You know what I'm talking about? That's all it's about, man. Keep pushing. Hey, I'm all shit. You know, I've been doing this shit for so long. So long. Yeah, That's why I respect you. Know, I've been doing this shit for a while, man. And still ain't where I need to be at, but you know what I'm saying? Shit, this is, like you said, it's a building, building um the foundation, man, and, and keep continuously adding to it. Hey, man, the resume still got to build and the work going to speak for itself. So, you know. You said something there. You said something key, man. Resume. You know what I mean? When you look at things and you say, oh, this wasn't a success. That wasn't a success. You know, you have to look at a person's entire resume before you, you know, um, I, I found that even in even in life, you know, not just with jobs, but just you as a person, people going to check your resume out. They're going to do they, they, they gonna do their background checks and history yeah. searches on you and find out, you know, what kind of person you are. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's what that's what I really respect about you, you know, um, Going back to the old AVC days, you know what I'm saying? You ain't switched up none. You know, everything that you've been through in life and 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 work and you know, you ain't switched up none. You still, you know, 13. You know what I'm saying? Still yeah. out here rocking. It's 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 a it's a dealing man with, with people how they accept what you try to do because they want you to be this way, but you got so much uh more that you can do and that you're supposed to do dealing with entertainment uh because entertainment is so broad as to where people want to just put you in one you know what i'm saying one aspect of life dealing with just rap they don't want you to you know what i'm saying speak your mind and talk on this and motivational or whatever however they go they sometimes they just want you to say just shut up and rap you know what i'm saying you can be one of the conscious speak some good shit, you know what I'm saying, for motherfuckers to sit down and listen to, but some motherfuckers be like, okay, that's cool, you know what I'm saying, but we want to hear you rap, we want to hear some music, we don't want to hear you sit up here, you know what I'm saying, speak your mind and talk on what you need, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, oh, I wasn't trying to interrupt you, I was saying what's up to Kilo, he came in the building, that's a reform rapper, if I'm not mistaken, reform, uh, Gordo, uh, shout out where you from in the comments that Kilo on so we can give you a shout out here. All right, got a great song too. We can't, well, last year he dropped a song and a video it was really damn good. Yeah, um, so y'all go check that out for, for the people looking. Um, yeah, Tony, man, you got any advice for us on life, man? You know, because I'm, I'm in, you know, I'm, I don't know if you've been following me. My life is like a reality show right now. I feel like, am I really living this? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, so but, um, uh, all I can say is, man, everybody got a you right now when you meet people, you run up on people. A lot of black people, you know what I'm saying? A lot of us that's in the streets or been originated with the streets and, and all this, the main thing we have to say, you be like, bro, what's up with you? What you been up to? Shit, man, trying to stay out of the way. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, man, we can't stay out of the way of everything. You know what I'm talking about? Like, sometimes you gotta put yourself in the way of so your blessing can hit you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And there's been a lot of things that we, a lot of us hold ourselves way back from because we try to stay out of the way of, a, now stay out of the way of negativity, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the best thing because a lot of us can get drugged into negativity very quick, very fast. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't and even step outside. Huh? I was, I was going to say, to add on what you were saying, we go through these cycles, these yeah. negative cycles, like we can get out of a negative situation. It's not hard to get out of a negative yeah. situation. It's the it's the it's the those feelings attached to it, and then wanting to you know to have that feeling again, you know, not realizing I guess you know that you still have that same feeling, you just don't have to have it in that situation anymore. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Well, definitely. Um, 
you know, and that goes for anything. You know what I mean? I think we we don't we don't know we don't understand how to grieve loss that well as a as a people. You know what I mean? Like, and I'm I'm, I'm guilty of that myself. Um, but but finish what you were saying. I'm sorry, couldn't y'all? Yeah, and it's like, man, sometimes we when we say we 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 just trying to stay out the way is you know what I'm saying like staying out the way sometimes can keep us away from 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 experiencing some different. You know what I'm saying, yeah. and me myself, I've been a been a been a you know what I'm saying. I've uh, uh, suffered that myself. You know what I'm saying, trying to stay away from, you know what I'm saying, being on this scene and on that scene, and sometimes them the scenes I need to be on, dealing with the networking and anything like that. You know what I'm saying, because I, I'm I'm big. You can attest to this. I'm the worst on that. I go through these cycles and my we made like hit songs together, man. You know what I'm saying? And when time for promo, when it's time to tour, when it's time to get it going, yeah. like I, you know, I fall apart, man. Like and it ain't that I don't want to go and perform; is that I fall in love, yeah, and I get booed up, and I want to spend, you know what I mean? And and I and I I got I don't, I'm bad at balancing, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but dealing with dealing with life, man, she. If you ain't got a hell of a lot of free time, it's hard to really balance a lot of things dealing with what you're trying to do, especially with this music career. You know what I'm saying? Dealing yeah. with music and anything that you got to put your full time and promotion in, dealing with outside of the internet, and you got to be hands on with different people and 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 it, everything that you want to uh, be a part of is not in your city and in your surroundings because everything happens every night. You know what I'm saying? Some can be, mm -hmm. it can be the biggest meeting that you need to attend and it happens on a Monday night and you have to work second shift or you have to work third mm -hmm. shift or you work in first shift and then you got to take your kid to a, a basketball game or event. After that, you got to pick them up from practice or whatever and you can't get to this event, you know what I'm saying? And you feel like this is the chance that an opportunity you to miss because of, you know what I'm saying, the balance of your life, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people that, 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 has made it nowadays. A lot of a lot of people make it off. You know what I'm saying? A couple songs or whatever, dealing with the with the YouTube uh, or internet. You know what I'm saying? Blowing up, getting the songs shared and yeah. this and this, mm -hmm. and a lot of million mm -hmm. likes and this and that, million views and me two million views. But that still don't put them to the point as to where where they're being they're becoming a success. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's a it's a it's a different route to get your music on out there. You know what I'm saying? And the balancing everything out. And that's what a lot of people use as that other st stable part as being the extra balancing part because hey, when you at work, like me, I get caught at work sometimes, man, and I get an email with a song that my partner in the mix and master that he just sent to me, and shit, I can't even listen to it right then. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even mm -hmm. thinking about work no more. I want to hear how this song sounds. I want to mm -hmm. try to post it somewhere, share it, or make a, you know what I'm saying, a promotional video, this and this and that from it. And you know, I think it's hard for passionate people. You know what I mean? Like when 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 you find somebody who's as passionate about somebody as a musician is, or as an artist is, or as a, a content creator, or you know whatever kind of creative you know liberal art that you that you do, when you find somebody that's as passionate as the people that I deal with, and, and especially me, I, I'm guilty of this myself. It's hard to turn it off sometimes. You know what I mean? Like my like I'm not gonna go into detail, but it's situations where. Like you said, you get this one and you get that one. And and with what I was doing just here recently, what I'm going to start back doing soon, I was getting 20, you know, maybe 30 emails a day, you know, and not just music, you know, uh, legit, you know, people contacting me. Hey, let's set up these services. Hey, let's uh, interview this time. You know, uh, like it was a service. I was a radio show, you know, so people were, you know, contacting me for bookings. You know, I'm trying to you know run it like a business. You know, at the same time, trying to hustle and make a couple of dollars in there. At the same time, trying to take care of the baby. At the same time, trying to, you know, um, I am going into detail, I guess. Um, but it, it's a lot, you know, and you have to sacrifice some. And what's going to be the sacrifice? Yeah. You know, your kids can't sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? Your wife ain't can't sacrifice. You sacrifice, you know, your wife and your kids. You ain't going to have no wife and kids for too long. And I'm, test and I'm testament to that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think a lot of artists are testament to that. And it gets extremely hard to, and you want to say, oh, I can find a balance. Oh, I can do it. But just like Jordan said in the, in the comments there, somebody's you're always going to be missing something. Mm -hmm. If you do this too long, you're going to be missing your wife and kids. Yeah. If you do, with the wife and kids too long, you're going to be missing this. Yeah. So it's, 
you know, and like you said, it, it unless you got just gobs of free time, it's damn near impossible. Yeah. You know, yeah. so I guess I want to ask what's the advice, you know, uh, how do you manage it? You know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, is the single life just, you know what I mean? Not necessarily single life, but you're just going to have to be a loner. You know what I mean? You know, like musicians is going to have to be notorious. Artists just going to have to be creatively, I mean, just notoriously, uh, loners and single and uh and and pat and and driven by their work not from from my perspective you know what i'm saying i'm single but it it can happen with a person that's in a relationship it has to be dealing you know what i'm saying it's dealing with family in-house family and you got to do this and got to do that everything has to have its place you know what i'm saying everything has to have its place your music got to have its time the family got to have their time everything got to be lined out you know what i'm saying correctly you know what i'm saying for everything to work and that's a and that's a that's a key out of from from my perception of it you know what i'm saying that's a key mm -hmm. uh component dealing with making it and you trying to do anything and now outside even outside of the mm -hmm. that's you know what I'm saying? yeah running a business sometimes some people have their uh businesses um mm -hmm. Uh, their businesses come before their families or whatever. Sometimes, you know what I'm saying. And that's sometimes that's how some some people end up um, lacking the 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 uh, um, the love from their families. You know what I'm saying? Because they had a kid got a football game or basketball game. Dad or mom can't be there because you know what I'm saying. They gotta um, uh, um, they gotta tend to this business or tend to this event, tend to doing this. You know what I'm saying? Everything has to have a balance and a time, a uh, 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 schedule, scheduled out. You know what I'm saying? You can take an hour for these days, hour for that day, or you know what I'm saying for this event or this this part of your day spending with the kids. This part of your day you got to spend with your wife. This part of your day you got to spend on your craft. You know what I'm saying? And it's and it's everything ain't gonna get complete at that point in time, especially if you working eight hours a day, working twelve hours a day. You only got twelve. Well, not even 12, 10 hours, to, uh, shit, six hours to do the rest. And plus, you got to go to sleep to get up and do the other part, you know what I'm saying, do, and start your day over again, you know what I'm saying? So it's really no, I don't think it's really no um, solution to it You unless you make the solution yourself, you know what I'm saying? You and your family sit down and work everything out. These days, or you just take just take one day out of the week, as to where, you know what I'm saying, you 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 just sit and do everything on your craft as possible outside of work and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? Because hey, even the the people that's um in the industry, from what I see dealing with them going through the T V shows and all that, they got it where they got enough free time to be able to keep do everything. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And that's the whole thing. You gotta have time and to do it, from my perception. Yeah. And 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 that's the that's the key thing, you know, because something's all you're never gonna please everybody. No, you know, even yourself, you know, and it's just it's balance. Yeah, you know, I that's think it. that's that that's, that's, that's what's important, you know. Unless you're making money from your music to the point where you just you know selling out shows, and I get, I think balance is extremely important. Yeah, um, yeah. And so, so what's going on with you, Tony? You got any new projects coming up, or uh, anything dropped recently? Man, I'm um work, still working on. I got this this single, "You Gonna Make Me," man, that I've been performing at a few spots. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so, I'm yeah. I'm sitting back for I re really, really release it, trying to get everything set up. Want to do the video for it, and trying to make it a real good release. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. it's on some grown up. Grown up, you know what I'm saying, suit and tie type ish on my behalf, Absolutely. what I'm feeling. So, you know what I'm saying, trying to, me and Joe are really trying to get something together and work that out. Especially another track I got called Theme Song for the ladies also. You know what I'm saying, I'm steady working on some more and more music, man. And uh, still doing my collaboration with my folks in Africa. You know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. and, and, and all that going on. And, and uh, man, trying to hopefully, well, not hopefully, Talked to my partner in Africa yesterday, man. He got his own uh, video television show over there and uh, looking to do some work with him. 
You know what I'm saying? So it's still got my international mindset set. You know what I'm saying? I can't let that die because, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. that was one of my dreams as an artist to go international, and I ended up doing that under underground, you know what I'm saying, and still to this day, you know what I'm saying, I still push that, and I still, you know what I'm saying, thank God for giving me a blessing to be able to travel to Africa and have songs with uh, artists from Africa, you know what I'm saying, and France and dealing with people out, outside of the country, and you know what I'm saying, and that's a whole, still a whole nother um, realm that I'm still building on, you know what I'm saying, because that's what, that's, to me, out of the music scene, that's what uh, exposure that an artist should be looking for. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. To expand outside the country. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people look at me crazy. You know what I'm saying? Even in the music industry, asking me what, what, what you, what, what that um, gonna do for you because you do a song with somebody outside of the country. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's a crazy mindset to have because you're supposed to be able to want to expand. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You don't see Nicki Minaj doing any shows in the United States right now. All of her shows are outside of the country. She's doing an international tour. You know what I'm saying? People really, they do their shows inside the country, but they make more, they make a lot of more money going outside of the country. Even artists, Absolutely. Even artists going back um, to help the Skelter and different other artists, you know what I'm saying? They are right now still touring in Africa in France and different places, you know what I'm saying, where people think, because a person feel like you not rapping or you're not, you know what I'm saying, on the main screen, like you're not making money or you're not doing shows anymore, you know what I'm saying, which that's our mindset as the people, you, they quick to call you old school or this and that, this and that, but long as you got people that still deal with your music, you know what I'm saying, still fuck with you, still rock with you, it don't matter if it's in your hometown, in another state, in this, in the United States, or in another country, you still relevant. It don't matter. You relevant you know somewhere. That's what I try to, you know. And it's hard to try to get people to. You try to tell people you're a musician, right? And you try to tell people that you're a content creator. And I'm talking about me personally now. You know, you try to tell people that you know oh, this is what I this is what I do. You know, I, yeah, I work. You know, what I'm saying I have jobs, I have careers. You know, whatever you want to call them, I have those as well. But what I do. I'm a musician. I'm a, I'm a creator. I'm an artist. You know, um, and, they, and they, you know, they're like, okay, whatever, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, they start hearing some of your stuff. They start seeing some of your work. Okay, they start taking you a little bit more seriously. Yeah. And then when they see when they see other people stop you in town, you know what I mean? Like, hey, you know, like, when you dropping another album, man, I still listen to that CD. Or, man, I really like that video you did the other day. Or, you know, that's when it becomes real to people. You know what I mean? And it, and it, it shouldn't us it shouldn't take and i'm talking about black people now it shouldn't take that to for us to convince people of something you know what i mean like if, right. if uh, you met you know uh oliver you know um it you know if, and he walked up to you and he said well what do you do well i'm a youtuber i'm a content creator i'm a i'm a um i'm a, I'm, a, I'm an artist you know and he, and he looked professional and everything you wouldn't you wouldn't doubt him yeah you take his word oh okay that's what you did great yeah. you know what i'm saying but you know i'll walk up to you i can look professional and at the same but uh, uh, here we go again. Another black guy want to be a rapper. We have to stop doing that. Yeah. We have to stop doing that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't matter what a person wants to be. If they want to be that, then yeah. let them do that. And, th and let them get good at it. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know yeah. what I mean? People who want to be doctors, they go, they start, you know, from young. I want to be a doctor. And then the very, very, very good doctors are the ones who just stay committed to it. Yeah, yeah. they're shitty doctors, too. Yeah. But we have to realize that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We have to realize that as a people, like, they're shitty cops. But they're very, very good ones. You know what I'm saying? They're shitty musicians. Yeah. But they're very, very good ones too. You know, and just because somebody wants to do that, just because somebody's life path um, uh, takes them there, we can't look down on them. Oh, here we go, another musician. Yeah. You know what I mean? What we should be doing is supporting them because that's what other cultures are doing. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? They, they're, they're collectivistic in their mindsets and they put their money together and they, and they pool it and they resource. And that's why I love another thing you guys do. Uh, what is it? Not not band of brothers. Don't get me wrong. It's uh, uh gentlemen, gentlemen, yeah, genuine gentlemen. Tell us a little bit about that one, and then I'm gonna get out of here because I got a few texts I gotta answer. Okay. But tell us about genuine gentlemen, and and I'm gonna get out of here. Man, uh, genuine gentlemen is a group of gentlemen from Atlasville, Alabama. Man, uh, we came together. We got the name after um the group was originated. The group was uh, came together through Henry Smith. You know what I'm saying? They um. Uh, was um he he's a um Alexville native 
he uh, played football for Texas A&M, you know what I'm saying, down in Texas. And um, he started um, a school supply drive, I think, like six years ago. You know what I'm saying? And so he got he he grabbed a few more guys, and they was doing it. And he reached out to me, like, on the third, I think, second or third year. And, um, you know what I'm saying, I joined along with him. And there's a few more guys from Atlasville. We all came together, man, and uh, we ended up coming, to, coming up with the name Genuine Gentlemen. So uh, right now, man, we do the school supply drive and the back to school back to school drive. Well, school supply drive and the Christmas toy drive every year. You know what I'm saying for the kids of Alexville, Alabama, Pickens County. You know what I'm saying, and we do our best to get out and try to do more things in the community. Lately, it's been crazy because everybody's work schedule was so off, and we hadn't been able yeah. to everybody get weekends off and be able to set up the um, fish fries and, and the car washes, stuff, different stuff like that, how we wanted to. But yeah, man, the genuine gentleman, man, it's probably, I say like 10 of us, you know what I'm saying? We also have a lot of help from the females in our area also, you know what I'm saying? Helping us with bagging up the, um, with bagging up the uh, uh, school supplies and, and, and setting up the toys that we give to the kids every year. So, but yeah, that's, that's what we do, man. We, Hopefully we're going to get it and make it grow bigger, you know what I'm saying, and be able to get it all together, man, and be able to run this thing like a well-oiled machine. And that's another part of what we all try to do to give back to the community. That's great, man. Like I said, I wish, you know, more people had that mindset and, and, and you know, we're going we're gonna to build on that. I think that what you guys are doing is laying the foundation for other young men and women uh, to be able to, to, to follow in your footsteps. And even you've inspired me. You know what I mean? Like everybody, like everybody gets down on social media. And I'm gonna say this and get out of here. But what it does is they say it all gives you depression and this. It, it, it can. You know, but it can also inspire you. Um, and um, I just want to say, you guys, uh, you know, uh, everybody out here, everybody out there doing this, you know, gonna watch this, like, comment, whatever. You know, you guys inspire me. That's why I, you know, do this. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I wouldn't do this. Like, I don't have to do this you know what i mean <laughs> but i love doing it because yeah. you know just talking to y'all and it's a beautiful thing you know what yeah, i mean i a, hope that i can find a balance it's, like it's, I said a different path. <laughs> it's a different path that everybody got to take man everybody start from the ground floor man you know what i'm saying yeah. and hell it's yeah. just you got to have thick skin and what's going on these days man because people will get on here and try to beat you down and and, and talk dirt talk bad about you you know what i'm saying either all the way around and whatever you try to do, you know what I'm saying, positive and, and want you to compete with this person and that person, which shit is no competition, man. Everybody, everybody's just trying to, you know what I'm saying, build on what they doing, build on what they believe in. You know what I'm saying? So hey, it is what it is, man. Well, man, I hope to look I look forward to working with you in the future, talking to you in the future, man. When I get set up and get uh settled in and everything, you know, um, I'm gonna crank it back up, and when I do, I want you to be one of my first guests, man. I, we were supposed to do it last time, but I, you know, we, yeah, but yeah, everything smooth, bro. Man, appreciate you okay. for uh, uh, adding me on, man. Oh, no problem, bro. No problem, bro. Appreciate you, man. Hey, no problem, bro. That was up. All right.